Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's class, I will explain security mechanism in the subject of cryptography network security. Okay, what are the security mechanisms we will use to provide the security? Okay, it is a mechanism that is designed to detect, prevent and recovery from the security attacks. Okay, generally what are the methods we are following? Those methods are called security mechanisms. Okay, next, what are the mechanisms, which methods you follow in order to ensure the security? Okay, these are about the definition for security mechanisms. Okay, the security mechanisms are several types. The first one is NC ferment. Okay, NC ferment. What is the meaning of NC ferment? Means N H C ferment. Okay, NC ferment is nothing but hiding the data. Okay, with a very simple definition, hiding the information. Okay, in this one, in this one, the sender is sending the data to receiver. Okay, the data will be hide while transferring the network to third party. The third party will never see this data in this method. Okay, NC ferment, remember, sender will hide original data that means the sender is sending a message that will be converted into then it will that will be converted into cipher text that will be converted into cipher text which is unreadable format which is unreadable format by using nc ferment algorithm by using nc ferment algorithm Okay, then it will be sent from sender to receiver. The encrypted message, encrypted message will be delivered from sender to receiver. Okay, on reaching of receiver side, okay, he is sending, sending encryption message. On reaching of, what about? On reaching of receiver side, the data will be again converted into original message. Okay, the data will be again converted into original message. Sender sending normal message that will be converted as a cipher text over the internet and at receiver side cipher text message cipher text message again will be converted as the message that will be received by the receiver this method is called nc ferment this method is called nc ferment Okay, the second one is digital signature. What is the second method is digital signature. What do you mean of digital signatures? Nowadays, we know all are using uploading YouTube videos at the time. We know what is the digital signature means. Digital signatures are that are used for authentication. Suppose any, suppose you have a YouTube channel, you are posted your own content. Okay, in background mode, in, a, in blur shape, in blur mode, we will upload one our symbols are our, our names that is called digital signatures okay digital signatures are used to authentication used for used for authentication that means it is a thumbnail it is a thumbnail or some special identifier identifying of user related okay it is also used for maintaining integrity of the data it is also used for integrity of the data okay this is the second one first one is the encipherment second one third sorry first one is the encipherment second one is the digital signature the next one is Access control. What is the meaning of access control? Access control means yesterday in last class we seen what is the meaning of access control. Okay, access control means uh, in any organization at any place where we are where the several people are working. Okay, the permissions will be restricted. The entire the entire system permissions will be restricted for everyone. Okay, according to their designation, it will be the permissions will be changed. Okay, for example, in a college student faculty relation, sorry, student faculty and principal sir. Okay, if you see in college website, student can student have some limited access. Faculty have more than students 
and what about principal sir have his principal sir will have all the permissions okay it means restricting the people to use or restricting the people unaccess sorry unauthorized use unauthorized use okay that is called access control for example in our college what are the rights chairmen are having okay example college okay chairmen are having chairmen are rights is very high and what about principal sir little bit down and what about hod sir he also little bit down and what about faculty he will also down and what about students okay like that so access control how much up to what extent of the permissions given to particular person it will controls the accessing all the data the next one is authentication exchange what do you meaning of authentication exchange we will authenticate the user that means we will allow him to get into the data or data modification by giving him authentication authorized permission by declaring particular person as a authenticate user okay for example in whatsapp or telegram groups okay whatsapp group okay what do you mean by whatsapp group it is a large number of community uh, large number of people will be communicate as communicate in a single group here there is a admins admins have all the permissions and what about group members admins have all group permissions and what about members members can only post read write the data he can't modify can't modify okay like this we can exchange the information by exchanging user id and password user id and password maintaining in database so that matching we are said to authentication person here authentication rights which are the particular server or owner having that will be given to other users who are having user id to related to the organization here exchanging the user id and password okay that is also called authentication exchange the next me mechanism is routing control what do you meaning of routing control routing control is nothing but whatever we are changing the directions of the attacker will get confused okay very simple here this is the sender this is the receiver okay while transferring the data from sender to receiver it is the first path it is the first path or first route assume this is the first route and there will be some alternate routes also okay this is the second route third route okay like that there will be multiple routes okay suppose the attacker will be placing uh, watching the first route then we will send the message like this we will send up to here then we will change the route second route okay there is also another fourth route also okay this is the second route this is the fourth route okay we will change up to here the second route after that we will pass some time and we can change the route to the fourth route again it will deliver some time and again it will go for fourth route third route again it will be delete it again it will pass to the over the internet to the receiver okay like this we can control the routes okay while transferring the data we can also ch frequently change the routing path between sender to receiver this is called routing control we will be confusing the attacker by changing the route path frequently okay that is called routing control okay the last one is traffic padding what do you meaning of traffic padding the last one is traffic padding last one is traffic padding mechanism what do you mean of traffic padding traffic padding is nothing but adding extra bits adding extra bits that is called traffic padding okay here in this mechanism we will add some extra bit
we will add some extra bits use extra bits are packets okay the main purpose of the adding these extra bits are in order to confuse the attacker or the third party okay the main aim of adding bits is confusing the attacker by observing the message by traffic padding it is done in order to prevent the process of traffic analysis it mainly use it to preventing traffic analysis okay what is example suppose i want to send a message i want to send a message that means i suppose i want to send a message like that the message message if i add extra extra messages here this is the sender this is the receiver i want to send a message from sender to receiver okay here i am sending two messages this is the first message this is the second message okay if i add extra bit okay assume this is the first message this is the second message if it is the extra bit then what happened the confuse extra bit okay here the attacker the third party person will be observes this means he will thought that he are sending three messages from sender to receiver so the traffic analysis the traffic analysis attack will be prevent by using traffic padding these are the uh, security mechanisms we have what is the security mechanism we have the security mechanisms are what are the mechanisms we will follow in order to ensure the security okay here we have encipherment first mechanism digital signature next one is access control authentication exchange next one is the routing control and next one is the traffic padding okay these are the security mechanisms okay all of you please uh, mention your comments if you have any doubts in comment section please like our youtube channel subscribe our youtube channel thank you everyone na channel peru gurtundiga please like share and subscribe